Hey everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Blinding Lights by The Weeknd on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. So this song is going to be super beginner friendly because there's only four chords in the whole song. They're all open chords, so no bar chords required. And um, there's only two strumming patterns that I'm going to teach you in this video. So overall it's very simple. You'll want to make sure that your capo is on the third fret if you want to sing this in the original key. If you don't have a capo, you can always watch my TMT on how to make your own capo, or you can follow this tutorial through all the way. It'll just be a little bit lower than the original song. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. On a set. So for those of you who are familiar with my other tutorials, I'm going to go ahead and do something a little bit new in this video. Let's go ahead and go through an overview of what this video is going to contain. That way those of you who are a little bit more advanced and don't need to sit through the whole tutorial can kind of get an idea and then jump to the end where we play the song together. Um, of course, if you're a beginner, I am still going to go through everything in more detail. So just as an overview, let's go ahead and go through the four chords you're going to need to know for this song. We're going to have D minor. A minor, C, and G. So if you know those chords, then that's great. Um, if not, then go ahead and skip to this time for the chords and I will go into more detail how to play those. Um, after that, we're gonna go into the strumming pattern. So first we're gonna start with a practice pattern, which is just one down strum on every note change so you can kind of get used to the song. If you wanna go through the practice pattern with me, then go ahead and jump to this time here. After that, we're gonna jump into the first strumming pattern, which is just going to be eight down strums and it's gonna sound a little something like this. And you can see what I was doing there was kind of emphasizing every other down strum on the even beats. And um, yeah, that's basically what we're doing there and I'll be playing that for the verses. So if you got that, great. If you need a little bit more practice, then jump to this time for this first strumming pattern. Um, and then our second strumming pattern and our last strumming pattern for this song is just going to be down, down, up, down, up. And it's gonna sound a little something like this in rhythm. All right, and we're gonna play that through twice for every chord, and uh, I like to use that in the choruses. And again, specifically, if you wanna just look at strumming pattern two, you can skip to this time. Um, so if you kind of got the feel of it already, and you think that you got those strumming patterns already, and you know those chords, then go ahead and skip to the um, end time here for the playthrough where we go through the whole song together. But if you're more of a beginner and need a little bit more time to kind of digest all of this and get some more practice in, then go ahead and continue watching this video and we'll go through everything a little bit more slowly. Alright, so like I said at the beginning, there's only four chords for this whole song. They're all open chords, very beginner friendly, so let's go ahead and jump into what those look like. Alright, so let's take a closer look at those chords. The first one you need to know is D minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Alright, after that we've got our A minor chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. All right, good. After that, we've got C, and all you have to move is your third ring finger to here. So that looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is G, which looks like this and sounds like this. All right, and those are the only four chords you need to know for this song. I can see clearly when you're So 
once you have those chords memorized, go ahead and practice right now transitioning between them because this whole song, it is very beginner friendly because it follows the same chord progression through the whole song. So we go from D minor to A minor to C to G for the entire thing. So go ahead and take some time right now to make sure that you can transition between those without having to stop too much. And uh, once you have that under your belt, then let's go ahead and jump into the strumming patterns that you can use with this song. Okay, so the first drumming pattern I always suggest that we start with is kind of a practice pattern, which is where you're just gonna do one down strum on every chord change so that you know where those chord changes are going to take place. It's gonna make learning other strumming patterns and singing through the song at the end ultimately a lot easier. So let's go ahead and put our D minor chord on since that's the first chord in the song and I just want you to strum it down once. Then we'll switch to our A minor chord, strum that down once. Then we've got C once. And then we've got G once. All right, that's the whole thing. That's the whole practice pattern. And now I just want you to go through the song and kind of sing through it with just this really simple strumming pattern until you get used to where those transitions are gonna be. All right, so I'll go ahead and take you through the first verse just to give you an example of what this would be like. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough Maybe you can show me how to love Maybe I'm going through withdrawals You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby so go ahead and do that exact same thing for the rest of the song until you're familiar with those where those chord transitions are gonna be. And then um, once you have that down, let's go ahead and jump into our first strumming pattern. So our first strumming pattern is gonna be really super simple. It's just eight down strums, and we're gonna play this through for each chord. So again, let's put our D minor chord on and just play it with the down strum eight times. So we've got one, two, three, four, the whole thing one more time one two three four five six seven eight excellent so if you're using a pick like I am then this can be a little bit um, ringy a really full sound um, but with the way that I like to play the song I like to use this pattern during the verses which is a little bit more muted so what I like to do is add a little bit of a palm mute and what I'm doing there is I'm taking the side of my hand the one that has the pick in it I'm kind of gently resting it between the sound hole and the bridge here and I'm just gonna leave it there while I strum down so you can hear it's kind of muting the strings, not that you can't hear them, but just so that they don't ring as much, okay? And so now I'm gonna repeat this exact same pattern, but we're gonna have a little bit of a palm mute in there. So again, we're just doing down eight down strums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So go ahead and try that palm mute with me. Make sure you're really lightly resting your hand on the strings, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, Awesome. So again, the pattern's not changing, we're just adding a little bit of a palm mute. And then the last thing I want you to do here is we're going to emphasize or accent or just give a little bit more energy to every other down strum, okay? And we're gonna do this on the even beats. So we're doing this on two, four, six, and eight. So now instead of having all the same kind of rhythm with this, we're going to kind of give it a little bit more rhythm by accenting those. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all I'm doing to kind of accomplish that is I'm just kind of giving it a little bit more energy, a little bit more force when I'm doing the even beats. So again, let's do that again. We've got our D minor chord on all eight down strums and we're just adding in that palm mute and then we're emphasizing every other down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the way we played it just then is very close to tempo. We might wanna speed it up just a little bit to get closer to the original tempo. But now let's go ahead and add in those chord transitions. So remember it's going from D minor to A minor to C to G. And we're just gonna play this pattern through once for each of those chords. So again, with our D minor chord on, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch to A minor, same thing. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch to C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we've got G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, once you kind of um, incorporate that into the song, I think it sounds really good to go from this strumming pattern into the next strumming pattern, which I'm about to show you. So let's go ahead and jump into our second strumming pattern for this song. So as you can see, our second strumming pattern for this song is down, down, up, down, up. And we're gonna play this pattern through twice for each chord change. So again, let's go ahead and get the rhythm and everything for it. So put your D minor chord on since that's the first chord in the song. And we're gonna just strum this exact pattern. We've got down, down, up, down, up. All right, let's do that one more time. Great. And that's the whole pattern, right? You just want to double it up now for each chord. So let's do that twice, two times in a row. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Awesome. Super simple. It's not too long or complicated or anything. So once you've got that initial pattern down, let's go ahead and work on the rhythm. So let me play it through for you once. We've got So put your D minor chord on and try it with me again in rhythm. We've got down, down, up, down, up. All right, awesome. So now again, we're gonna be playing this through twice for each chord. So let's go ahead and add in the chord transitions now. So we've got D minor, we're playing it through twice. Down, down, up, down, up again. Awesome, then you switch to your next chord, which is A minor. Same thing. Down, down, up, down, up twice. Then we go to C. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And then G. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. So once you've got the pattern down and you've got those chord transitions in there as well, we just want to speed it up just a little bit to get it at the original tempo. So let's do that again a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. That's about the tempo that I'll be going at the end. And one last thing about this strumming pattern you can hear is sometimes when I'm playing it through, um, I will emphasize the second down strum. So we've got down, down, up, down. Up. Do you hear that? So we've got down, down, up, down. Again, same thing. All I'm doing is giving it a little bit more force with my right playing hand. Awesome. So if you want to incorporate that into your strumming pattern as well, I do think it kind of helps to drive the rhythm of this song. So that's the whole second strumming pattern. And honestly, if you wanted to use that pattern for the entire song, I think that would sound really great too. Um, I just like to give you guys a few different options of strumming patterns, just in case you want to kind of uh, spice up the guitar part a little bit. I do think that that sometimes helps with um, covers and things like that to make the guitar part sound a little bit more interesting. Um, and then one last thing, I should also mention is in my covers I will sometimes palm mute this second strumming pattern as well so again that's where I'm just gently resting my uh, hand here on the strings really lightly and when you do that with this pattern So 
you can hear it kind of uh, mutes it a little bit more and I just feel like it sounds a little more rhythmic. I think it sounds a little bit more interesting. So if you've mastered the palm mute and you feel pretty comfortable with it, I am going to be palm muting the pre-choruses here at the end during my cover. So once you have those chords memorized and you've gone through the practice of transitioning through them and you've gotten all the strumming patterns down, let's go ahead and jump into the playthrough here at the end um, where I will list everything on screen in front of you so you can play through the entire song. Hey, hey. I said, this is Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Good luck. So that was my tutorial for Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. I really hope that you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below as well as to comment any other songs that you would like me to do a tutorial for in the future. Also, for those of you who've been subscribed for a long time, um, how did you like that little overview section that I incorporated this time? I'm experimenting with my editing, so I think that's something that might be a little bit helpful. So if you did find that helpful, please let me know in the comments below so I know to keep doing that in future videos. Um, here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun little things like behind the scenes peaks and polls and things like that. Um, this is also where I go to find people to give shout outs to. So if you want to shout out in the next video like this person right here, then make sure to follow me on my social media sites. And one last little plug, if you liked the shirt that I was wearing in today's video, this is my Guitar Forever shirt, which you can find on my official Forever Faithful merch store, which is linked down below. And you'll also see the merch down under this video. Every single purchase helps to make 
make this channel just a little bit better. So thank you guys to all of you who have been supporting me in that way. Um, but yeah, that concludes this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.